Yeah, I'll be honest with you, I'm loving the show this morning. Absolutely magic. Good food and all about good movement. And we're going to carry on talking about all things Woolworths x -Try. Now, remember, we had this conversation earlier, and it is South Africa's friendliest off-road triathlon. And uh, this morning, we are going to dive even deeper. Now, I'm being joined by Steve Atwell. He's from Embark Triathlon, and he's the official coaching partner of the Woolworths x -Try. Now, Steve, it's such a good pleasure to have you. How are you doing, firstly? Thank you. I'm very glad to be up so early. <laughs> oh, this is like the norm for you seeing that you have to put in like 500 different dis disciplines in a day and train so early bird catches the worm for you right That's but right, yeah. let's talk about this because uh, this is an epic event we were talking about the extra earlier with Luis and it involves so many fun activities we're talking about cycling we're talking about swimming we're talking about running it's things that everybody knows they're very familiar with but how do you exactly prepare for a triathlon when you're putting all of this together? It's quite a daunting task, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. It's, um, it's becoming a lot more of a popular sport, but yeah. it's just broken down. It is the swim, it's the bike and the run, and then that makes the whole triathlon. Yes. So training for it, you've got to be um, proficient in all of them. You yeah. know, and I always say, like, if you're running and you get tired, you can walk. Yeah. If you're cycling and you, and you get tired, you can stop pedaling and freewheel. But if you're swimming <laughs> and you get tired, you know, that becomes a very dangerous thing. So yeah, you must sure. be proficient sure. in the swimming. So that, you must be practicing that a lot so that you know you can do the distance of the race you're choosing. And at the same time, I think, to enjoy it, right? You don't want to De be struggling oh, through things. Yeah. If you have that base fitness, it really becomes fun. And I think for an event like this, the way they've categorized each options when it comes to the events, I think there's fun to be had all the way around. Yes. For you, though, it's fun, but there's also some seriousness because you're the official coach of the Woolworths x -Try, along with, I think, two others, maybe? Yes, there's two others, yeah. What exactly does that mean, and how would you describe your coaching sort of uh, methodology? Because I know a lot of guys out there might be thinking, hey, this is a great race to get involved in. I want to contact uh, Steve and see what I can do, but uh, before they do, they might not necessarily want to do it because maybe Steve's quite hardcore. He's got a, <laughs> no. quite a killer coach. <laughs> Give me a hundred more, come on! <laughs> What's no. your style like? <laughs> it's obviously, um, it's very inclusive, the Willie's Try. We yeah. really want to try and get, like, make a real family effort, get everyone into it. We just want lots and lots of people to experience triathlon. This is not the hardcore triathlon. Nice, I like that. We're, like out on beautiful farmlands, you know, the swimming in a dam and running and cycling, there's all good. So yeah. um, my style is very much is just about be fit enough to do it and enjoy it. You want to come out there. You don't, if you can't manage all three on your own, you know, choose a team, do two of them or do one of them yourself, get a team, be safe, do all of the three disciplines safely and get through it and enjoy it mostly. I'm all about the consistency. So get out every day and do a little bit. You don't have to kill yourself any of the days, but if you're just out there swimming one day, biking one day, running one day, the progression is massive. You're going to get very fit. It'll change your life. You'll be fit and healthy and have a great lifestyle. Oh, all right. <laughs> I might sign up, man. You sound like a good coach. I need some of that in my life. Look, I see there's lots of equipment behind us. I know we've got a little bit of a demo, which I definitely want to ask you, but just to quickly run through the equipment that's needed in this event, just before we run through that demo, because I want to give Mzanzi something special to take over. Yes. Them, especially anyone wants to prepare for this. But before we do, what equipment is the essential basics that we need to get into this? Okay, I mean, you're lucky with this sport you can go absolutely crazy yeah. with, but the basics, what you need, uh, a swim cap, which you'll get from the race organizers anyway, and a decent pair of goggles that don't fog up because you need to see where you're going in the water. And then a wetsuit. Uh, if the dam gets too warm, they won't allow you to swim in a wetsuit, okay. but um, generally between the parameters of the water, you'd like to wear a wetsuit because it just gives you that extra little stability in the water. It just gives you like that safety blanket yes. that if you stop kicking for a while, you can still Got float, which is quite yeah. nice. It keeps you warm as well, and it's actually the neoprene's faster in the water than skin, so ah. it's also to make you faster. Nice That's stuff. the swim. The biking stuff, it's mountain biking, off-roading. Any mountain bike will work. Obviously, the more money you spend on it, the easier the journey becomes. You must wear a helmet. If you're ever anywhere near your bicycle, riding your bicycle, please wear your helmet, because if you fall off a bike without safety a helmet, first. safety first. And then um, you can ride the bike in just in your normal tackies if you need. Yeah. Otherwise, a nice pair of riding shoes that clips you into the bike. It, I know for beginners, it sounds a little bit um, dangerous to be clipped into the bike because you can't yeah. get your feet yeah, yeah, down. Yeah, but when yeah, you're yeah. riding, it's much safer to be clipped in because you're actually one with the bike. You're not going to be bounced ah. off the bike. Your feet aren't going to slip off if it's wet, if you're going through water. So practice that a little bit to be feel secure when you're connected into the bike. Um, speaking of practice, speaking of practice, yeah. I know we've got to prepare for this event. And I know a lot of us maybe don't necessarily have a bike or access to all these equipment pieces. Is this something that anyone can kind of do at home just to prepare. Someone that wants to get involved in the event, they don't necessarily want to win, but they want to have fun and they want to still be fit enough. Yeah. What can they do at home to kind of just get their bodies geared up for this? So for the running, obviously, just run around the block. 
It's around your house, run yeah. around your house. If you like, just, just get just running, move. just get running. <laughs> Same with a bicycle, ride in your neighborhood, yeah. you know, take a drive somewhere where you can ride a little bit safer. The swimming is obviously a little bit more difficult because you have to be in a pool, but there are some exercises that you can do. And I've prepared a little bit of a routine for down. you. Let's do so it, yeah. We are going to, we're just going to start in the push up position. Okay. So we're going to be. Let me just move my chair out the way here. <laughs> All right, in the push up position. position. We're just going to do, we're going to, you can start as many as you want. We're going to go four push ups. Okay. So we'll do the four push ups. One, this is obviously two, working shoulders, back, three, four. Tricep. Nice. Now we're going to touch the alternate arms. Ooh. All One. right, so now we're working a bit of the core as well, right? Absolutely, the core is essential oh. here. So we're going two, <laughs> three. Stabilizers for the shoulders, will help with swimming as well, yes, I'd imagine. Four. And five, and the focus. Now what we're going to do, I want you to bring your left knee onto your right elbow. Left and right, okay, so crossing yeah. over. Oh, the core is getting engaged. There we go. Yeah. And again, so we'll do four here. Stronger guys can do more. You can start on 10 here if you want. And I like to do a pyramid here. So when we finish this routine, we yeah. just take a breather. The last one now is to touch the right hand to the left knee. Right hand to left, okay, I got you. So again, that's very much all your core work here. Nice. You do a whole, I mean, I wouldn't do 30 minutes of this the first time you want to do it, Whew. but if you start on four, you can work down to three, two, and one. Let's go one more. One more. You're strong. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold the pain inside. So, so the, idea would, TV. the idea would be to do four, three, two, one, and if you're very strong, to do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, and keep working like that and slowly build up. But the main thing is to get in the pool and have a swim. Oh yeah, absolutely <laughs> love it, Steve. Thank you so much. And I love that little workout that you can do at home to prepare yourself for the Woolworths X Try powered by Imperial, which is going national. And of course, you can find it at Pilfel Sport, which is taking place on the 25th of September, Cardcliff on the 30th of October, and the Paul Kluber Wine Estate on the 4th of December. You do not want to miss out. So enter now for any of the three Woolworths X Try events. And that's all at www.xtry.co.za. Nice stuff, Steve. Thank I you. love that. <laughs>